Tip number 37. Use checked PCB checked schematic as component parameters. And this tip maybe it cannot be applied in every company, okay? If you have some special procedures how you create new components, it may not be applied, but you can still watch it. Maybe you will get an idea to improve your current system. Uh, we use it because uh, it has two advantages and one of the advantages is uh, it helps us to speed up schematic design process. I will explain how. We were speaking about component parameters. Do you remember uh, how we use normally component parameters? In many CAD systems you can, uh, when you create a symbol, when you create a component, you can add component parameters and we usually put their information about manufacturer, manufacturer part number, supplier, supplier part number, yeah? But we also add our own internal parameters. Can you guess? Dot check PCB dot check schematic, okay? Dot check creator, for example. Now, how we use them why we add these parameters into every new symbol which we create the first reason is because uh, it identifies the status of the symbol it identifies the status of the footprint we have three different uh, state statuses statuses <laughs> The first is when the component is new uh, and freshly created. The second, uh, uh, the second status can be or is when the component is checked, and the third one is when the component is used in uh, mass production. And we use this value to identify this status. When the value is empty, it means it's a new component. When uh, someone check the schematic symbol and one one when someone check the PCB footprint, they add their initials. So when I check it, I put their RF. Okay, it means Robert Feranek, Feranek check the schematic symbol. And once it is used in mass production, we also add a no used. Now, how this can be helpful in the second reason why we use it how it can speed up the schematic development the schematic drawing process do you know using this dot check pcb dot check schematic when we uh, when we draw schematic when we draw the draft of the schematic or when we do the preliminary schematic many times we have to draw the schematic very quickly Okay, and many times you need to create new components. So how you very quickly can create and use components, new components? You just create them. The thing is, creating new components, it's fine. It's, it's not so difficult. It's not so time consuming. Properly checking the new components, that's what is uh, time demanding. So basically what we do when we are in the stage of drawing the schematic, we do not check the new components. We only create them. We use them in the schematic and uh, when the schematic is finished, we only check the components which are used in the final schematic. Basically what is happening, and I'm pretty sure you, it happened to you, uh, when you are creating schematic, many times may happen that you create a new component because you would like to use it. You do it one day and the second day you just delete it because you come up with different solution. So the new created component you delete it and don't use it anymore in your schematic. This way, for example, when you are creating a new schematic, you need, uh, let's say, 100 new components but in the final schematic you only use 50 of these and when uh, we are doing it this way as i just explaining we only check or we only spend our time checking the 50 components which are used in the final schematic 
we do not check we create the other 50 components but we do not spend time checking them i'm pretty sure you understand so basically what is then happening uh, when we create the schematic and just before we do the final schematic checking we generate something like this sorry we generate a bomb which looks like this with the columns dot check pcb dot check schematic and uh, for every component with empty uh, cells for these columns we go and check the schematic symbol and we go and check the footprint once you check it you put there the initials then you can see some of the components they already were checked and these others they were already used in the design some people they ask why it starts why the parameters they start with dot check pcb dot check schematic uh, there is no really special special reason only the reason why we use the dot is because the parameters they are normally ordered by uh, alphabet so when they start with the dot they are usually on the top of the list Tip number 37, use checked PCB check schematic as component parameters. Why? Helps you to identify symbols and footprints which you need to check, helps to speed up schematic drawing process.